If anyone has ever wanted a VR flying experience that you can play with your friends in a World War II bomber, there's something coming and it's going to be amazing. Hopefully going to be amazing. The team behind the original B-17 games like the Mighty 8th and uh, things like that have returned, if you're unaware. They're releasing three games. Uh, one of which is a redux of that said game. They're also releasing a sort of campaign single player type one as well. And there's also a VR one. And it's the VR one I wish to sort of bring forth in this video. Now to the eagle eyed viewer, you may notice that the video in the background is actually from Medal of Honor Above and Beyond which was not a great game. It wasn't a terrible game. It was a bad Medal of Honor game, but it wasn't a terrible game. And it had a really good... Uh, had really good bits inside a B-17, which is why I'm using it for this particular reference. It is in VR. I can explore the B-17, and it is cool. Now, unfortunately, there's not a great deal of recent news uh, in development with this game. It's been quite quiet on the Discord and uh, on their website and things like that. There's been a lot of pictures floating around and some early stock footage. I think it was a stock footage. It was like early footage for a, a teaser or something along those lines for a, a magazine. And that's all we really have. But in, in terms of like recent development, what information we do have, however, is the fact that it was going, that it's supposed to be a 10 player co-op. So all positions within the B-17 can be operated by you and your friends or AI if you want to play uh, completely solo and you can do missions complete missions with a full crew of friends in VR now the early footage that was sort of uh, circulating around the discord is clearly very early but very interesting to say the least and the fact that it seems like very a, l a large quantity of the B-17 is interactable should mean that the gameplay is going to either be incredibly realistic uh, or absolute chaos when you and your friends are opening windows and throwing your hat somewhere over Germany. But aside from that, hopefully, if the gameplay is anything like this video or even anything like the Medal of Honor game, the PvE experience with friends is going to be amazing. Now, as I said, there's not a great deal of information that is really being shown off in terms of media. A lot of things were set, uh, sort of sh shown off behind paywall magazines. But aside from that, there doesn't seem to be a great deal of actual news or footage to really show off. Apart from the stuff that is listed on the Microprose website and the things I've already been sharing in the Discord as well as on the Steam page. So I'm, I'm flicking a few through some of the pictures there right now so you can see what uh, else has been shown. But aside from that, there's been nothing. And it's a bit of a shame, really, because according to various sources, the uh, the game was scheduled to be released at the end of this year. And in all honesty, the sheer lack of information that's been posted and just the fact that there's no video footage of any recent video footage of gameplay is a bit concerning when, like I say, is, uh, according to the publications I'm able to find about the game, indicated a release of 2023. Now, like I says, the lack of actual information telling us when this game is going to come out or any new footage is a little bit sort of upsetting, especially for those who have been waiting for basically what could be the most perfect VR game ever to come out uh, in terms of aviation, we can at least look at the things that are supposed to be coming with the game. So the information that we do have about the actual game in itself, not the terms of the release, uh, aside from the fact that it's up to 10 players or AI depending on your game style, there's also the ability to fly a B-24. So a nice other different bomber to fly, which is actually pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing the uh, the B-24 in action. And also, 
from what I've been able to read and some of the stuff that's been listed in various uh, interviews and FAQs is when you start the mission, you go from the briefing room to your plane and you drive a jeep there. You actually get everyone in the jeep and drive it to your bomber. So kind of like if you ever seen the movie Memphis Bell, where they're all hanging off the jeep to drive to, to the bell. That is the image I have in my head. Now, the final thing that uh, was also mentioned uh, in the in the articles and uh, in the websites was that they're wanting to have very detailed systems within the game so that you can experience failures and emergencies along the way. So you could be flying your bomber and all of a sudden your engine's overheating because of a fault or your instrument panel stops working because it's been shot off. So that in a VR setting where you've got your fret, you're flying the plane, your friends having to come running up with a fire extinguisher to put the fire out to repair something is all part of the plan. Now, there was an FAQ released earlier this year with a lot more of the in-depth side of things that got planned, but I'll cover that in another video. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this type of content or if you're interested in this B17 VR game or even one of their other games as well. Thanks for watching.